the dynamite things, which is things you're asking about, the story is so horrible, people hate it. And I tell the story all the time. I did it one day in rehearsal, just a little tiny one. John Rich, who was our director, who had done like uh, the Dick Van Dyke, all this kind of stuff like that, a veteran, but at that time was doing All in the Family. And uh, we had done our pilot, which really wasn't a pilot because we were already on the air, but we had done our first couple of shows. Norman didn't like the direction of the show, how it was directed, so he brought in, he fired the director, brought in John Rich. We did the dynamite thing. John Rich says, hey, that's it, man. And I went, what's it? He says, a dynamite thing. He says, I want you to do big dynamite like this. And he showed me how you want me to do it. And he says, I'm going to set up an ISO camera. And we're going to make that like a phrase, man. It's going to be great. And I'm saying, what are you talking about? He says, this is going to be unbelievable. He says, people are going to be shouting this out of cars, out of windows. You're going to be able to get hats, shirts, everything. And go, what is this cat? talking about he says yeah it's gonna be great so he set up an iso camera and i did it one day big and norman lynn is like what is going on what are we doing and he says norman this is going to be one of the biggest parts of this show this is going to really make it happen and he said to me he says i got three daughters i want to send them to college i'm going to send them to college with that word dynamite and he says and, and i did it and in three weeks people started just saying it they just went, you know, crazy with the whole deal. And it was all John Rich's thing. He was the guy who said, we must make this happen. And doggone it, he's the guy who came up with the whole thing. I just did it fooling around. I wasn't even thinking about it. But that was, uh, that was John Rich's whole idea. And I saw John Rich about four or five years ago. He says, my last daughter just graduated from Brown University with a master's degree. Thank you. <laughs> So that's that. And John Richard went on to produce a show with Henry Winkler called MacGyver. So he's, he's that guy. So he's the guy who really pushed it. And I don't think anybody in the cast or Norman Lear said, knew anything about this. And this was something that John just pushed and pushed and pushed. And he just said, this is going to happen. So he was strictly on a monetary basis with this word. And, and it really went through the roof. I had a whole bunch of stuff because I was always working with words. I saw an old bit on uh, Don Knox, and his daughter was talking about how he would go in a room and just start working with words. I was the same way. You work with words, you say it, and you hope people catch on to it, you know, like, you know, what can I say? That's just the thing I came up with, and I'm trying to work on it, make it, like, stick, and it's stuck. There's other things I've said, don't ask me what they are, that didn't work, and you have to let it go. But, <laughs> but, you know, you try it and you see what's happening. See, that, it, that comes from stand-up comedy. The thing is, in stand-up comedy, if you have a new thing, you put it in between two things that work, like a little sandwich, and you say it like you mean it, and then sometimes people buy it and sometimes they don't. But all my stuff that I came up with, I was always trying stuff. And as actors, I find they just like to get the words down, not me. I want to play with the words, I want to syllabicate, I want to go on and on and try it. So people will come up to you and say the words and stuff like that. In my act, I'm the same way. Mm -hmm.